Yo, welcome back, Zycor here. And today in No Man's Sky, I was gonna, I guess, go and get some upgrades for my living ship, I guess, because I've been wanting to do that for a little while. Um, and I guess I gotta probably head into the anomaly because I'm in a blue system right now and I can't summon my freighter. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do that, switch my ship. Um, or maybe I'll just head down to a planet, why not? Might not be a bad idea. But, uh, yeah, I want to get some upgrades for my living ship because, well, I want to see what they're like. It's um, a unique way that you have to get them. Now, let's see here. Just fly out. And, oh, let's see. That's a dusty planet. So, let's just head down there. Stop rear-ending me, dude. Uh, I tell you. So I'll just head down to this planet and see exactly what I can do here. I'll probably just summon my living ship down here. Just land. Actually, I can just land right on top of this as long as I can. That's not bad. There we go. Uh, come on. Land. Oh, wait. There's a free landing spot right there. And, of course, my system is lagging while loading. Okay. I might as well land on this f free spot. There we go. Okay, I think this is a manufacturing facility. I don't know if I want to... I mean, I guess I could raid it. Let's just get this. Funny how you just land by a manufacturing facility. <laughs> uh, just throw that in there. There we go. Get that. Okay. Now, I guess I'm going to blow this door open. And wait for the sentinels to de-aggro. Let's see here. You're going to just stay there, buddy? Okay, well, don't blame me if you get caught in, caught in the crossfire. No, actually, he'll be coming after me, won't he? Oh well. Run. There we go, got inside. Now they can't get me. Yeah, he's just gonna stare at me. But he can't, he can't hit me. Okay, anything else in here? I don't think so. So let's see if we can answer this question right without the sentinel being in irritation. Okay, the facility remains operational despite my intrusion. This terminal appears to control the central production line. A readout on the display displays a status warning. So it's a status warning. Warning. Increase something something. Warning something something something. Okay. So I have to increase something. A large dial feature prominently under the readout. It appears to control the system's materials input. Okay, maintain levels. Increase levels. Dramatically increase your levels or leave. No, no, no. Um, let's just increase levels because it said increase. So I guess let's just see what happens. The warnings cease and the system maintains its production. The increased pressure has kept the fabricators whirring and the facility at full power. Normal operations are resumed, and I have access to the facility's main control panel. I should be able to alter production to my own benefit. Okay, that's not bad. Um, learn a new recipe, because I might as well. Okay, so I get two factory override units. I've got everything on here. Let's get over here. I guess, okay, so I guess I can just maybe get a Ritocyte and Geocyte. Because, yeah, I mean, it's not that important, but I guess it doesn't hurt. I will need, let's see, I need to make all three of these to get this, and 
I mean, it's doable if I wanted to do that, but <laughs> oh well. And what's about this here? Radon and condensed carbon. Uh-huh. Well, let's just get the iridocyte and geodesite. Yeah, I know. There we go. Okay, sentinels are gone. Gex standing increased by two. That's not bad. Okay, so get out here. Now, wait, what? What? Those aren't part of the ground? How can I just push them? Uh, something's wrong here. That doesn't make sense. Okay, that's just weird. <laughs> I've never seen that before, that I can just push these. Like, I don't even know what's going on here. Uh, oh, wait! Are these pieces of the door? Really? Did they actually make pieces of the door laying here? As debris? Huh. It looks like it, yeah. Interesting. I've never seen that before. Well, that's cool. I guess you could say it's a nice attention to detail-ish. Yeah. Huh. So the door blows apart and it actually stays there as pieces. It probably won't stay there permanently. I'm pretty sure of that. They can't keep all that data. Okay, let's head back over here. And I might as well just summon my living ship. So, which one is my living ship here? There we go. There we go. Okay, come on. Now, uh, as far as I know, I have to pulse drive in the system to get a, let's see, a random space encounter with, a, with the void eggs. Okay, so this is a tritium hypercluster. I can might as well do that. Uh, gold nugget. There we go. Um, but it also is basically saying that I can't have a void egg on me or any pieces needed to create a living ship. So I have to make sure I don't have any of that on me or I won't run into them. Okay, uh, let's see. I don't know what the organ chamber is for. Is this for the upgrades? The, uh, the technology, I mean? I, I'm thinking that. Yeah, storage sacks. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. So technically, I should just move all of these. I think this is the thrusters. I think. <laughs> this is the the hyperdrive or something like that now this is the hyperdrive this is probably the thrusters then maybe and maybe this is the this is the pulse drive okay I see and this is the yeah I think that's the attack not, oh no, the shield. Okay, the shield. And th they're not necessarily descriptive as to exactly what they're for. I think this is the spe uh, spewing vents. I think is like a. Isn't it a, a weapon of sorts? Yeah, weapon system. And then this one, I think, is kind of like the um, mining laser, or not mining laser, but uh, whatever. Okay, so let's see here. Get out into space. And not enough fuel in the neural assembly. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. And this just takes oxygen. So I have plenty of oxygen. I could use some of my mordite, though. I don't really need the mordite. There we go. Okay. Take off. Head out into space. And see what I can find. Pulse driving. How long it's going to take to pulse drive? Drive. I basically just need to pulse drive in anywhere and see if I run into a random space encounter. 
So let's just pulse drive over to a planet. Uh, let's see here. Let's just pulse drive to that planet. And see how long this takes. Okay, I get to the planet, still didn't activate. Let's just pulse drive in a random direction. Okay, finally I found a void egg. Uh, that probably took a good whole, like, 30 seconds to a minute of pulsing. <laughs> uh, this is going to take a while. Now, as far as I know, I think you just attack it. Let's see. There we go. Scream suppressor node. Only a B rank, though. I wonder if you can get S rank. You should be able to. But uh, let's just check it out. I can always just uh, get rid of it, too, at some point. Um, okay, so scream suppressor... That's for the shield then, I guess. Let's get this over here. Um, maybe put that there. Um, this, wrong button. And let's see, I'll put that there for the moment. This is the launch thrusters. Let's just put this there. This is the hyperdrive. That I'll probably want multiple of, if I can get that. And this is the weapon systems. Uh, let's see. I wish the layout would be a little bit better. I wish you could upgrade it. But I don't think you can without, you know, the just standard ways. Okay, let's... And then I'm just going to put this, I guess here. Yeah, I gotta have them in weird places. Okay, so let's put in this B-Rank Scream Suppressor. Uh, let's get that right here, I guess. And then what does that do? 14% shield strength. Okay, not bad. Evolve. Trigger hormones and expand the node into a functional growth. 310 nanites to evolve it? What does that mean? I've never done that before. I mean, I need nanites, but... Hmm. Well, let's just see what happens. Well, you know what? Wait. This is only shield. Let's find another one, and maybe I, if I can get a better one, like for hyperdrive or something like that, um, then maybe I'll evolve that, because I've kind of got to save my nanites. So, I guess... Let's see. I'm going to pulse drive again instead of being so far away from the system. <laughs> okay, after searching for actually quite a while and pulse driving for a long time, even traveling to a different system, I finally found one. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, they're not very common. Uh, okay, let's... What do I get? Okay, so a B-rank scream suppressor. Wait, isn't that another one? The same thing? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think... Yeah, another scream suppressor. Like... Fine, I'll make put up another shield one. But I don't really need it. That gives me 7% shield strength. That's actually not that good. Okay. Still trying to find something else. <laughs> uh... Okay, finally found another one. Man, these are these are actually very difficult to find. Uh, it takes a long time to actually search for them. Um, let's see here. Ah, an A rank spewing vent node. Uh, let's check that out. Okay, so the spe for the spewing vents, that would be spewing vents right here. Okay, five percent damage. 3% heat dispersion and 2% fire rate. It doesn't actually seem that good for an A rank, but I guess it's going to cost 430 nanites to evolve it, so I'm um, let's try to evolve it. <laughs> because I just want to see what it does. Um, trigger hormones and expand the node into a functional growth. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, it changes it to S rank. Okay. It didn't really increase it very much. 
it didn't really do anything. It's about the same. It's not worth the 430 nanites. <laughs> At least this one. There's probably better. Hmm. And that one's 14%. Four, so that one's probably better than this one. This is a lot of nanites you gotta use for this though, so I'm gonna probably need to make some sort of nanite farm or just continue to um, buy Pugnium. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm having a hard time actually finding them. And not to mention the living ship can actually be expensive to use. The pulse drive uh, requires silver and gold to refill. So I'm like <laughs> constantly destroying rocks <laughs> in space here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I've got, it takes like quite a bit of silver to refill it. No, wrong button. There we go. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think it takes, it almost looks like it takes like 400 silver to recharge it. So it's pretty expensive, at least uh, if you don't have a lot of money. If I, I mean, I have a good amount of money, so I can probably afford it by, you know, just buying gold and silver. And I could just go get a silver and gold farm as well. But it doesn't take tritium, so that's kind of unfortunate because you have nothing to use a tritium for in a, you know, in a living ship. <laughs> but, oh, oh well. And, of course, yeah. Let's actually test this out in battle, I guess. Because, you know, I'd like to see just how much damage I do. Um, I think this, you know, the, the damage on this actually isn't too bad. And one thing I noticed when doing some battle is that the, the, what is it? The eyes, I mean, the weapon kind of locks on, so it kind of tracks a little bit. And why are there sentinels? I think, I thought I saw sentinels or something like that. There we go. Okay, I hope I'm not, okay. Good, okay, good, good. Yeah, what was that ship that came in? Must have been a sentinel ship or something. That was kind of strange. And that's a planet I need to discover yet. Um, but one thing I wanted to maybe check out here is if an anomaly detector will help me to get the void eggs easier. Because if you use an anomaly detector, it will, you know, basically bring up one of the space anomalies. The question is, how often will it be a void egg? Or will it just be some random one? So you could technically just go through, you know, at least getting one of these every week from, I think, uh, who was it? Is it Helios? Or I can't remember now. Um, but one of the NPCs in the anomaly gives you one. So let's just use it and let's just pulse drive over here and see. Is it going to find something, a void egg really soon here or what? Come on. There we go. What is it? Oh, okay, so, yeah, it's just the, um, what is this, plasmic accident. Do I attack this? Yeah, there. There we go. Okay. Extreme subaudible re resonance detected. Uh-huh. Okay, so I didn't find a void egg with that either. So I don't know how um, often you would find one using those it probably takes some testing um they i don't have a whole bunch of them and they're actually not that common when you're you know mining asteroids and stuff but you can get them when doing this so basically you just you know mine asteroids and sometimes you can rarely get one but i only got one out of all the asteroids i've been destroying here so they're not that common I'm just trying to get some more fuel since uh, this thing 
kind of sucks fuel as, as much as a gas guzzler. Um, you know, those gas guzzlers that you, that you buy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gas guzzlers are not, um, what, it, what would I say? Affordable? <laughs> because you're always putting gas in it. Okay, let's get over here back to this planet that I have now lost. Uh, where is it? Oh, there we go. Let's see if I run into one quick. I don't have too long left. Uh, no. I wanted to explore this planet. Actually, let's check this planet out and see what is on it. I probably could have pulse drive the rest of the way, but oh well. Now it's a little late. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to fire at the planet. Destroy the planet like Frieza. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, get down here. And you know, I say destroy the planet like Frieza, and I get here and this looks like Namek. Uh, wow. <laughs> uh, okay, the trees don't look like Namek, but still, the grass kind of did. At least from above. It looked kind of weird. Uh, let's just land if this would let me land. Come on. Please let me land. There. I'm probably too close to the ground. Interesting planet. Kind of nice. Strange trees. So, yeah, I've just been kind of discovering some planets and stuff while I, while I look around. Searching for these void eggs. But yeah, they're pretty hard. Pretty hard to find, actually. Let's get a word. There we go. Get word for with. Okay. Okay, you you are a weird looking bird animal. Okay. Oh, I guess I already identified it. Like this. There we go. Okay, I identified that one. So I guess it got the others. Okay, I get some trees here. But uh, yeah, I guess <laughs> I have to find a bunch more of the void eggs to get upgrades because these upgrades are, they're kind of hard to get, I guess. At least for me right now. I mean, if there's another way you know of, uh, leave a comment and let me know. Uh, because yeah, I've been having kind of a hard time finding them. They don't spawn very easily. Anything else here? There's actually a lot of trees. Those are kind of nice trees there, though. Not the weird-looking ones. Those trees are kind of odd, but these trees are kind of cool. Whoa, I didn't even realize I was right beside a big cliff. Okay. That thing looks kind of weird. Okay, well, um, I guess I've got to continue on looking for more void eggs. Uh, this is actually quite the task. Okay, I haven't been able to find any more um, the, of the space anomalies, basically being the void eggs. Uh, for some odd reason, I don't know, they seem really, really rare for me. I can go like a whole two minutes or so of pulse driving and not find any uh, space anomalies. So it's kind of strange. I mean, it's like I'm not finding any at all and then like there's something preventing me or something. I don't know, it's weird. But uh, yeah, I guess all I got here in total was like three. And I haven't found any more. And this one is an S rank because I upgraded it, but it doesn't seem very good. It seems like I could probably get better is what I'm thinking. So yeah, maybe I'll have to search for some more some other time, but otherwise I guess for now I'm kind of out of time. <laughs> so I guess that's it for this episode. The, the void eggs are interesting, but I remember they used to be a lot more common when they first implemented them. I mean, you could go for, you could just pulse drive and you know, run into something pretty, pretty quickly. And now it's like, I'm not running into it at all. That's weird. 
But, uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. If you like this episode, hit that like button. We really appreciate it. It really helps us out a lot. If you haven't already, subscribe. Hit that bell icon. Leave a comment. And, of course, share it. And, of course, come and join our Discord. Because, yeah, it's a nice, fun place to be. And you can always party up, maybe. Possibly do some stuff. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. These guys don't sell... Uh, upgrades for the <laughs> for them so I can't find them here but you know I can just find traditional ones here but yeah there's nothing good here <laughs>